So it appears that we're cooking another slow cooker recipe. This one is packed with protein, complex carbs, and enough flavor to make you forget about your favorite burrito spot. Rather than tell you how easy it is to prep, I'm just gonna show you. Let's jump right into it. Start with two pounds of fat trimmed chicken breast. Easy way to trim the fat off if you don't have a decent knife is to use a pair of kitchen shears. Chop your chicken breasts in half once trimmed, and then layer those into the bottom of your slow cooker. Next, add in two cans of drained and rinsed low sodium black beans, one 24 ounce jar of salsa, two cups of frozen corn, half a cup of water, one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic, and either half a packet of a low sodium taco seasoning mix, which is super easy and cheap, or one tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of oregano, and some black pepper. Give those ingredients a mix, making sure to keep your chicken breast submerged, and then turn your slow cooker on either high for four to five hours or low for seven to eight. After that time, remove the lid and shred your chicken up with two forks like this. Should break apart pretty easy if it's cooked. To eat this, I usually layer it with half a cup of rice, a serving of some cheese, a little sour cream or plain Greek yogurt, and a couple chopped up green onions on top. To keep it really simple, it's everything you could imagine and more from a recipe with the words, naked burrito bowls. Now let's get to a couple of tips and things. One, you can easily change up the temperature of this recipe by using either mild, medium, or hot salsa. You could also add in other spices too. I usually use a medium salsa. Two, from now on, I'm always going to include the grams to all the ingredients that need it, either in the description below or on my website, theproteinchef.co. Three, this recipe freezes great if you wanna make more than a week's worth. Four, I personally make five servings out of this, and each serving for me is usually around 18 ounces. Five, don't have a slow cooker? This slow cooker is only around 30 bucks ship. I think I've used it in almost every single slow cooker video too. Link to it below since I know some of you will ask me which one I use. It's one of the best investments you can make for your kitchen. And six, not a tip, but a question for you guys. Do you meal prep? And if so, how many days do you typically meal prep for? The whole week, two to three days, let me know. I'm working on something and need your input, even if you just write no. With that, let's end this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like these slow cooker recipe ideas and want some more this year. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on social media, links below. And of course, stay healthy.